Hello, and welcome to Molly's Motif. I'm here with you today with another really quick card, really simple card, and I need to get it done quickly because I'm going to be giving it to my sister this afternoon if I can get it put together. Um, I'm meeting her a little bit later this afternoon, so I'm hoping to be able to get this um, put together really quick. So, and I'm also incorporating a few challenges with this card. When do I not incorporate challenges? I love challenges, and so I'm going to be entering this card into an inky situation. You need to use buttons. My creative time, you need to create a black and white card. And then hiding in my craft room, their challenge this week is to use, um, it's a Super Scraps Saturday. And I don't know about you, but I have a bagillion scraps, and so... If you can see all of these, I pulled all of my black and white scraps out that I had and was just trying to figure out um, what I was going to do. And then when I saw kind of these patterns here, my sister instantly came to mind. I said, I need to make her a card because she is going back to school. She already has a bachelor's, but she's going back to school to get another bachelor's in accounting. So I'm super proud of her. And I just want to kind of give her a card of encouragement, just a note, you know, keep going. She just finished her semester. Um, so that's kind of when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. And that's where my inspiration is coming from for this card. So I was thinking of all the Cricut cards, cartridges out there and all the different images. And she's totally opposite of me. Like she would, it wouldn't go over well if I did a create a critter card because those are too cutesy. But I did get the Forever Young cartridge a few weeks ago, that huge blowout cell that of their their used Cricut cartridges. I was able to find Forever Young for 20 bucks, And so I picked it up, and this is her to a T, like this cartridge. So I was like, you know what? I am definitely going to be pulling one of these images from this cartridge. And the one I've decided to do is on page 39, it's model 16, and it, it just reminded me of those maxi dresses that are so popular. And my sister has a couple of the maxi skirts, and she just can pull it off. I could not pull it off. So that's totally where I just zoomed in right on this cut, on this cut and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm going for. So here is my cut, and then the dress that I am going to be putting on her is just from my scraps. I really don't know where the paper comes from. Off the top of my head, I want to say it was a black and white paper pack I got from Walmart, one of the color book paper packs. So that's off the top of my head, that's where I'm thinking this paper came from. But again, it was just in my scrap stash, so don't quote me on that. So there's the dress, and then I did have just some black and white polka dot paper that I'm going to trim do the trim on the bottom with and I cut her out at four and a half inches you would think that that would be kind of a, a bigger cut but um it actually it works really well and I just wanted to show you because my go-to cut is always three inches that's where I always start when I make a cut is three inches and so when I cut the three inch dress out it was pretty short pretty small and so I tried the three and a half, and then I tried the four, and I finally ended up with the four and a half, because I think that is what, you know, I, I liked that height and, and the size of that cut. So that, just to, so you could kind of see, you know, there goes from three to four and a half, a half inch in increments. So just so you can kind of see how the, the Forever Young cartridge works and the sizes. So I've got... Her dress and her little trim and I'm not gonna do um, there's another layer cut on her dress to put kind of these circles down at the bottom and I think an even a necklace but I didn't cut that that's the layer shift button I didn't cut that at all so I just cut the model the shift model and the layer that's all I used um, to make the, the model um, so, I will get her put together. But then, when I was thinking of how to do my card, I wasn't sure. Um, but I did want to do a little bit different. I am doing a portrait style, so it opens up this way. So you take your eight and a half by eleven, and you cut it in half long ways. So it's four and a quarter, and then you fold it down. 
So that's the, the style of base card that I'm doing. And then just from my scrap stash, I found just some of that. I don't even know what this pattern is called, but my sister loves it. And so um, it just drew my eye to that pattern when I was putting this together. So that'll be my, my base mat. And then I wanted to put something, I wanted to set my model up a little bit higher because she would get lost in the pattern. And I thought, oh, let's put her on like a frame type of a concept. And so I was looking through the Forever Young cartridge because I don't often like to, I do, but it's easier if you can find the cut on the cartridge that you're already working with, you know, just go with it. And so the emblem that comes with this model was perfect. I thought it would just be perfect. And so I cut the emblem out at three and a half. And here's my emblem. And then I cut a shadow piece because there isn't a shadow for the emblems, but I just cut a shadow piece at a quarter inch larger. So this is cut at three and three quarters. And it fits perfect together. I think it works great. And when I just had my white, it was too plain, so I instantly thought of embossing it. I wanted to do some embossing um, on that piece, and I went to my embossing folders and found, again, another perfect complementary embossing folder. And this one is a Cuddlebug. It's a Cricut um, Provocraft, and it's called Modern Wallpaper. So that's what it looks like from the package, but it's just... If you can see that, I love it. I think it's so great. So I just embossed that and I'll put those together. And it will just go right on top. Like that. And then my model. I don't know what else to call her other than a model. We'll just go right here. And I think that, and I'll probably put her up on some foam tape just to kind of um, get a more, little bit more dimension raise her up from the mats a little bit. So that's how she's going to fit there. And then I found I just had two black buttons in my stash. That I'm just going to be putting down here on the bottom. And then I found um, from Michael's in their bargain bin, I picked up a black and white flower pack. And it's I'm just so happy that everything is just like so perfect for this card. I'm just super excited about it. And I'll just be putting that up at the top. I'll put that up on foam tape. I'm not just going to put it down because it will get lost. So I'm going to pop it up on some foam tape. And it just looks like it did pop right out of that matte paper. So that's kind of how it's going to be put together. I'm just really excited about this card and how it's coming together for my sister. So I hope she likes it. Sometimes you're like, okay, if I give this to them, are they just going to throw it away? Or what are they going to do with it? But I can't think like that. Um, and then the sentiment, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. It might be just on the inside. I'm not sure. Got to figure that out. But if I do the sentiment, it's going to come from this Fiskars mini set. And it's just a note. And then on the inside, I'll just kind of give her, you know, just let her know how proud I am of her. Um, so... I'll get this put together. I don't know if I'm going to do any ribbon. I didn't even think about that. I'll figure it out. I'll get it put together and then I'll come back and show you the final result. Okay, so here's how it turned out. I'm not 100% loving my little sentiment down here. Just a note. Um, like the, the placement of it. But it works. It's fine. Um, and then I did pop my flowers on two thicknesses of foam tape. My mat my frame is on one thickness and my model is on one thickness and then my sentiment just a note is on one thickness of foam tape then my buttons are just tacked down with some glue spots or glue dots and so i don't know if you can see the dimension see if i can do some sort of a anyway um i like it i think it turned out pretty cute and then the inside I just took some more of that, my scraps, just some more of that pattern paper from her dress, just the same paper, and made a little mat here and put another flower, one of those pattern flowers, on there. And there's plenty of room for me to write a little note. And I hope that she really likes it. I This just totally reminds me of her. So 
I'm happy with how it turned out and I am excited to get it entered into those challenges and I appreciate you stopping by and taking a tuning in and taking a look at my card and we will catch you next time.